Hello everyone, I'm Lawrence from Unicorn Reviews and this 15 year old grey brick is my parents PC. If you want to see more of my videos feel free to subscribe and press the like button. Alright guys, so the problem at the moment, uh, well there are two problems. Problem number one is that it starts up incredibly slowly, uh, programs start really really slowly. So that's the part that annoys my parents and then there's the part that annoys me which is the amount of noise it makes. Uh, in this video we're going to address both things. So let's see how fast it actually starts up now. Alright, so that was pretty much it for our first test. It takes three and a half minutes from pressing the power button to playing a video on YouTube. So what we're going to do today is without spending any money, seeing how much faster we can make this thing just by cleaning it up a bit, uh, both on the hard drive side and on the dusty side as well. All right, then, so here we have it, the HP Noise Master 5000. Uh, it's actually not that bad when it comes to uh, dust. All right, so for this job, we're going to need a few things. So um, screwdrivers and a vacuum cleaner. Most importantly, a vacuum cleaner, because as I said, we're not going to spend money, so I can't buy compressed air. Um, so let's get started on cleaning this thing up. First of all, quick uh, word of caution. When you vacuum clean computer bits, um, hold the fans in place because Otherwise, they'll spin too fast and that actually damages them. So keep that in mind, guys. All right, so I know a lot of you will say, why did you vacuum it first before you clean it? Well, before you take it apart. Um, basically, I don't like getting dirty. So I give it a quick clean first and then take everything apart. Um, so the first thing you'll need is a very fine screwdriver. At least with this cooler, obviously, it'll depend on what cooler you're using. And what we're going to do is take the CPU uh, fan off, not the heatsink because then we'll have to reseat the heatsink, which obviously uses thermal paste and that would then cost money, which is against the whole purpose of the video. This is also the most annoying way of mounting a fan that I've ever seen. Magnetic screwdrivers are also really a must when doing this sort of stuff. All right, so that's the, uh, the fan loosened. Of course, there are cables absolutely everywhere, as well as dust absolutely everywhere. That's quite horrible. Look at that, guys. No wonder this thing is so noisy. All right, so that's pretty much it for the fan. Uh, on the CPU, but I've also noticed that this very small graphics card is ridiculously dirty, so I'm going to take that thing apart as well. Micro, if you ever want to film a new series of dirty jobs, you can come out, come out here and clean my parents' PC. All right, so that's pretty much it for the um, getting rid of the dust part. Oh, I almost knocked the graphics card off the table there. Now, what I've noticed while doing this is that the, um, the fan housing for this thing is actually quite broken. So I'll have to fix that in some way or just completely ignore it because we're not really going to use this computer for much longer anyway, so why bother? Alright, so that was pretty much it for the getting rid of the dust um, part of the video. Uh, right now we're going to do the same thing to our hard drive. Also, I just noticed I forgot to put this thing back in, so I'll just throw that in the garbage. So we cleaned up the dusty bits, and as you can see, uh, it's not just because the fan looks alright, is that the heatsink is not completely cluttered with dust. Um, so happy we got that out of the way. Now the next step is just um, some piriform magic. So first up, going to run sea cleaner on both um, just rubbish that's left behind and then we're also going to fix our registry and then after that we're going to run um, piriform defragler. All right so analysis is complete even that took us well over 200 seconds which is I guess also three and a half minutes everything takes three and a half minutes with this PC. Uh, what I'm going to do though is um, not clean Internet Explorer stuff because it's not my computer, but there's four gigabytes of rubbish on this computer. Now, 
when you compare that to the fact that we only have um, 140 gigabytes in use percentage wise that's quite insane so let's just clean all that sort of rubbish off I'll put links to the software um, in the description box all right so it's now um, clean again if we reanalyze stuff there's only some Internet Explorer stuff, but it's a, an old people's PC, so let's just leave everything there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is the registry. It's actually quite important, this thing, because it has pretty much all the information in it that your computer needs to start up pretty much everything. So everything comes down to the registry with Windows. Um, so let's just scan for issues now. All right, so it's done scanning for issues, so let's now just fix it. It will ask me if I want to back up changes to the registry. I've never had any issues, so let's just say no. Uh, and there are almost 1,200 errors in the registry alone with this computer. So you just fix them all, really, and close it. Now, a good thing is to scan it again afterwards because fixing one issue will always cause issues to something else. So same thing, now we only have eight. There we go. Um, so that was pretty much it for CCleaner. So the next step we're going to do is defragment the hard drive. You can use the built-in Windows um, defragmenting tool. We're going to use defragler because it's more visually aiding you. All right, guys, so this is Piriform defragler. Uh, it says our disk is in good health, but we can also see that 28% of the disk is fragmented. Um, now, we can only have random read speeds up to 1.61 megabytes a second, which is quite horrible. Uh, and the reason for that is all these red blocks. Basically, you want all your files together right next to each other so that the, the reading head doesn't have to skip along the disk from left to right and send it to the outward bits um, to find a single file. So what the Fregler will do is it will put everything back together and then everything will be good again. Now, in order to run it, all you have to do is press defrag right here and it'll just build a few file lists up and then it will put all the data bits back together uh, this will take quite a while so i'm not going to film this all right guys so it's done fragmenting it was busy for like five hours or so um, and so right now we have a random read speed of 36 or well, 37 megabytes a second which is way higher than what, than the 1.6 we had before. So I'm now going to shut the system down and we're going to see if it actually makes a difference. So we had three minutes 32 before, so let's reset that and redo our completely unscientific test and see what it actually gets us speed-wise. All right then, so I guess uh, we saved 20 seconds on startup time, which is quite good. It's still really slow, but it's something. All right, guys, so time for a conclusion on my trying to fix the Noise Master 5000. And I'm going to start with the noise. Um, it's gotten significantly quieter. Now, dust is the enemy of all computers, but I did not expect the heatsink to be that crammed full with dust, or dirty dust as well, even though it's a fairly clean house we live in. Um, so that was quite interesting to me at least. I hope it was interesting to you guys as well. Um, but then boot up times, uh, we only saved about 20 seconds from a startup to playing a video on YouTube. Uh, but then actually once you're in Windows, everything's loaded, starting up programs is way faster. Also navigating folders is 20 times faster now that it's all been defragmented and that we fixed some issues and got rid of all the useless files. Um, so I would say this video was a success, uh, at least for from a performance standpoint. From a view standpoint, I have no idea. But if you want to see me make more videos like this, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Um, if you liked the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the video, press the dislike button. You can share this video with your friends if they have a rubbish old PC. Uh, and they really need to clean it, but they're, they're too lazy to do it and you want to show them what sort of performance increases you can get. So guys, uh, thank you all very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.